Now, before we get this video started, I would like to remind everybody, if you're creating content, showing people how to grow their own food, uh, cook their own food, recipes, um, processing and canning food and storing it for long term, if you're showing people how to care for their own bees and collect their own honey, anything that has to do with homesteading or being more self-reliant, then just stick the Garden Gurus hashtag in it and your video will wind up in our playlist with a whole bunch of other channels and you'll get a lot more views and more support. So thank you guys for watching and we'll go ahead with the video. Are you ready? Let's go. Hey guys, today we're going to show you our seed station. Um, we're going to go in detail about how we set it up and what it all entails. So stay tuned. All right, everybody, for those of you that's been following our lives know that we had an issue getting our lights with Amazon. So I went ahead and just sprung for the quickest thing I could get. So I got some 5000 lumen um, hyper tough lights. They are bright white daylights. Um, there's no blue or red spectrum in them. So um, we grabbed some of those for about 20 bucks each. And then we grabbed some of these what I always call burple. Um, full spectrum lights. Now these lights come with plenty of hardware to hang them from the ceiling but we wanted them really close to the sea so we used everything we could to get them to that perfect level and we'll show you what we mean in a minute. Now we also have our own seed starting mixture and we'll show you that recipe later. We also want to tell you that uh, I like to keep the soil somewhere around 71 or 72 degrees and uh, that's exactly what we get here especially under those burple lights. So we've added two tiers to the seed station. We have one on top of the table and one below it. Each section containing its own day lamp and full spectrum lights. Each section is being blasted with around 10,000 lumens each. The room is 74 degrees Fahrenheit. The entire thing run off timer at 18.6. Now let's show you guys everything we planted and how it looks after 48 hours. Okay guys, that's pretty much it for our seed starting station. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. You guys know you can always email me. It's on our about page. And again, thank you for watching. Okay guys, thank you for watching. If you don't mind, click that notification bell so you don't miss anything.